Well, good evening, my sweet friends. How are you all doing today? It's Holland. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a devotion from this book. 366 Devotions. Trusting in God. Join me, shall you? But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell to get notified about when I post another video. And leave me a like by clicking the like button. It helps YouTube get my videos out to more people. And leave me a comment. I love reading all your wonderful comments. And I try to respond to as many as I can. And make sure to share my videos. And let's get started. So today is our devotion is for November 8th. And it is Inner Conviction. And I'll be reading from, from John chapter 15 verses 18 through 27. Once you screenshotted it, we can get started. Let's get started. Inner conviction. When the counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, he will testify about me. And you must also testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. John chapter 15, verses 26 and 27. NIV, that's the New International Version. Here, Jesus mentions two aspects that were very important to him. First is the testimony of the Holy Spirit. What does Jesus mean by this? What it is what it is that what is it that makes people feel when they hear Jesus' stories and when his teachings unfold before them that they are about the Son of God. What is it that enables us to say instinctively that there is godly wisdom in it? This is the work of the Holy Spirit inside us, helping us to respond to Jesus. The second is testimony about Jesus that people are to take into the world. And you must also testify. Christian testimonies are born of long intimate relationship with Christ. The disciples were his witnesses because they were with him from the very beginning. A witness is a person who testifies. This is the truth and I know it. Without personal experience, there can be no witnessing. We can only testify about Christ if we have a real relationship with Him. Our Christian testimony comes from a place of inner conviction. We can tell someone has hardly began gun speaking if what they are saying is credible or not. A witness is not only someone who knows something is true, they are willing to say that they are convicted, convinced it is true. These people don't want to be the only ones who know Christ. They want others to get to know him as well. Here's a prayer prayed with me. Lord Jesus Help me to be your faithful witness wherever you put me in the world. Amen. Let's read John chapter 15 verses 18 through 27. And that will close us off. Here you go.
Here we go. Here is 18 through 27. John chapter 15, 18 through 27. I'm going to read it now. If the world hates you, keep in mind it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong f to the world, but I have chosen you out of this world. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I've told you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will ob obey yours also. They will treat you like this. They will treat you this way because of my name. For they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father as well. If I had not done among them the works no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin as it is they have seen. And yet they have hated both me and my father. This is to fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason. The work of the Holy Spirit. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. And you also must testify, for you have been with me from the very beginning. So thank you for taking the time out of your evening to do a devotion with me from this book. 366 Devotions, Trusting in God. As always, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Love to you all. Bye-bye.